Well, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Grovana, and happy Friday to you all. Welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. This is part 15. In the last episode, we learned about a hero that hailed from poor. We entered the Denodora Mountains looking for information on that hero and also the Masa Mune. As soon as we entered, a little boy called Tata exited, screaming about how he was scared with all the goblins and everything, or the ogres, I guess I should say. These guys right here, and the dude on the right is a freelancer. And now, basically, we're going to continue through the mountains and find more information about this uh, Masa Mune, which, again, I don't know how much they've explained so far, so I don't want to get too into it, but it's very important, so hopefully we'll be able to either find it, or find information on it, or whatever. We shall see. So if you didn't watch the last episode, you don't really know that these guys are weak to fire. Uh, if we use fire on them with Luka, their hammer will get burned away, and then we can pretty much take them out with one more physical attack. Just like that. And uh, I'm pretty sure we're pretty close to the end of the Denodora Mountains, if not at the midway point. So we shouldn't have too much left. But let's venture forth, shall we? Alright, everyone can use the top off on their health, so we'll probably do that at the end of the next fight. Uh, let's also get some 600 gold from that chest. Can we go back here? I've always got an eye for these things. Just want to make sure that we don't miss anything, even though it's really not that important. Uh, it kind of sucks being, in a co being a completionist in an RPG, because a lot of the time when you go out of your way to get stuff, it'll just be tonics and potions and stuff like that. Anyways, we have a big open expanse here, uh, and the only way... Oh, never mind. Okay, that was super weird. That was literally four fights back to back to back to back, uh, and that took a lot out of us. And also, Morrow learned a new tech, and it was called Cure. Let's see what that does. Heal ally more. I love I love how simplistic RPGs were back then. Just says heal ally, and then in parentheses more more than Aura. Um, but actually, Cure uses two MP, and Aura uses one. And I think Aura is going to be fine for this, even though I use even though I'm using it twice, which is kind of kind of defeats the purpose but there we go everybody's healed up let's move forward i don't think we can go down here at all can we just don't want to make sure i didn't miss anything good all right moving on let's go to the left over here and i see you treasure chest what do you have 300 g you're not as cool as the other treasure chest that gave me 600 g at the start of this another fight it looks like we got a bellbird and two freelancers Okay, and it looks like we've entered a creek area. No, God, no. I totally forgot about that. Okay, well, as you can guess, now we pretty much have to do everything over again. Um, I think. I'm pretty sure. I see a treasure chest up there, though. Oh, I see. We're probably supposed to fall down the waterfall to land on that. Uh, let's just make sure that we do do have to do everything over again, although I'm seeing a lot Oh, I guess not because I'm seeing a lot of different treasure chests. I guess we haven't been to this area before Yeah, okay one silver what what did that say? Oh, oh, it's a silver earring. I see it just there's not enough Yeah, that's weird. There's not enough um, Room for the text max HP up by 25% that's actually pretty good. Wow um, Let's see who could use that. No, I didn't want to use that on you. What did you have before you had a sight scope? Yeah, uh, let's see Rage Band, we're going to keep on Chrono, Side Scope, Magic Scarf. Um, we'll hold off on that for now, because it's going to be better as time goes on, obviously, because our characters are going to get more HP. Okay, so I do see a treasure chest over there. I'm not sure how to get to that, but I guess we have not been to this area before. Interesting. Uh, we can't go over here, can we? No? Okay. Let's go back up here, then. I think the only place that we can go at the moment is through these woods. And where does that lead us? So that treasure chest open is open, so we have been here before. Oh, right, back up here. Okay, well, as long as we don't have to fight everyone over again. Looks like we won't have to. Cool. Okay, so that wasn't that difficult. I thought that made us go all the way back down, but we are going to have to fight this fight again. Okay, so we actually learned a whole bunch of stuff there. We learned Ice Sword, we learned Fire Sword. Ice Sword is, like, one of my favorite attacks of all time. And Chrono also learned Spin Cut. Spin Cut's just a regular attack. Ice Sword and Fire Sword are dual attacks. No, involving uh, Marl and Luka, respectively. Okay, so I think we want to fall down here. 
Yeah, I was right. I knew it. I definitely knew it. Okay, what's in this treasure chest? Better be something good. Silver stud. Okay, that sounds like another accessory. Let's see what that does. Uh, let's see. Rage band and silver stud. MP use cut by 50. Okay, that's cool. Um, we're not really having that big of a problem with MP use for now, but we will keep that in mind. Where in the world am I supposed to go now? I'm not really seeing a... Okay, that's what I figured. Okay, looks like we're going to have to go back up and fight that fight one more time. Actually, I'll show you guys, though, because we got some new techs, and they're freaking sweet. And they're definitely going to help us out uh, for later on in this very episode. So stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's go ahead and fight this one more time. Or not. Where's the bellbird? Hey, what's up, guys? Shut up. Get lost. Whoa, they actually speak English? Shut up. Get lost. They say the same thing? What in the world? That's kind of weird. We, like, I guess we went around the hitbox that starts this fight. Alright, let's take a look at all these new techs we got. And there are three. So let's use uh, Spin Cut and see what that does. Two times damage. Okay, we'll use it on the Bellbird. So screw that Bellbird. Yeah, the names of these techs are, are... They have to be different because I don't really remember some of these. Um, but that was cool. I forget what that one is called. No, 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 no. Don't kill him. Alright, looks like we're going to be only able to use one of these... Which sucks because I wanted to use both, but they're both pretty much the same exact thing as you can imagine. Let's use Ice Sword. Ice Sword attack, and it's a single target. And this looks freaking crazy. Watch this. Yeah! Ooh, I love that. Okay, and it does 500 damage. That's that's the definition of overkill right there. Alright. Okay, so finally we can progress after dealing with this stupid waterfall for five minutes. Okay, so it moves you down there automatically. I, I just want to make sure, but I don't want to fall down there again. Okay, yeah, we definitely got everything. Okay, another treasure chest up here, which has one mid-tonic. Moving on. We can go over there. I don't think there's anything up here. What is this dude doing? Does he realize he's slashing at nothing? Shut up, get lost. Okay. Man, these birds are rude. Let's go ahead and open this treasure chest. One mid ether, sure. I've, I have a feeling this guy's gonna do something, though. Can we not, like, attack him? What's the deal with this guy? Okay, whatever. We'll let him practice, I guess. Um, nah, here we go. Anytime, anytime there's an enemy and you can pass them in Chrono Trigger, you're going to end up fighting them anyways. That's just how it happens. Alright, let's use Fire Sword now. Even though, like I said, it's gonna be the same thing, pretty much. Yeah, just with fire. Oh, it's a little different. It does like a flame whirl. That's cool. Uh, hopefully we can kill this last freelancer with one ice so we don't have to use some more turns. Or that works too. We could also get a chrono counter. Or a CC for short. Alright. Moving on. Let's go to the left here. We've got to be close. I mean, we've, we've spent quite a lot of time in the Denodora Mountains so far. Hey, it's Speccio. Just kidding. It's not Speccio. We see these things a lot in this game. Mountains are nice. This is the life. Mountains are nice. Man, you're nosy. Here, take this. Got one magic tab, and that's why I always exhaust every dialogue option in an RPG. And I don't think he does anything else, so obviously that's weird, but we'll save that. Um, okay, so we have a save point here. That's cool. Um... I don't think we want to use a shelter. Let's see where everyone's at. Yeah, they're fine. Um, I don't think we have to use the shelter. Let's go ahead and save. And now we have a save called Tata and the Frog. And notice Frog is capitalized because we're dealing with a very specific frog, not just any frog. Let's go ahead and down here and get this chest. One mid ether cool. Let's go down here. And I see you, Sparkle Sparkle. You can't hide from me. You got one speed tab. Sweet. Uh, I guess we'll go ahead and use that on Chrono. Speed on Chrono is super, super, super OP. So, we have a whole bunch of tabs here. I'm going to save the magic and the powers, but I will use the speed tab on Chrono. I like making... Usually when I play this game, I like making Chrono just a super powerhouse and hogging all the stats for him. I don't know if that's the best option, but it's just what I like to do. Alright, so we have another one of these a-holes throwing uh, those little, I guess, what, pebbles at me or something. One shelter. Stop! You jerk. We have three ogres here, and uh, can we not attack them? There we go. Okay, Chrono leveled up during that fight. Let's go ahead and head up this ladder and kill this guy. Oh, you jerk. What are you doing? Alright, can we kill you now? Oh boy, this is a tough fight. Alright, so remember when I said that was going to be a tough fight? Yeah, it wasn't really. Um, Alright, moving on. Let's see. I would have beat this area in this episode, but it's lasting a very long time. Longer than I thought it was going to. We have another waterfall down there. Oh, that was the guy that was throwing stuff. Remember in the last episode I said I'd, I'd get him? Yeah, we got him. Um, okay. So, there's a waterfall down there, but I don't really want to go down it. There's also a hole in the wall over here. 
Okay. So the music has changed. We're now in a cave. There was a boy walking above there. Um. Okay, now we're going to... I'll tell you guys what we're going to do. We're going to use Marl to use Aura on everybody. We're going to get them basically up to full health here. There we go. Yeah, Corona has a little bit more HP that we could restore, but it's not a big deal. We're also going to use some Ethers. Let's see. Yeah, we're actually going to revive everyone's MP completely. Even though this is using quite a lot of Ethers, and we're not going to do it completely, but that's good enough. Okay. What are you kids doing in this cave? This is no place for children. I'm the wind! Whoosh! Cool. Uh, can we talk to him again? I'm the wind. Whoosh. Says the same thing. Hey. Hey now! Is that... The Master Sword? Just kidding, wrong game. Stop! But it is a, a very ominous looking sword in the ground. I don't think ominous would be the right word to use. Because it's a good sword. Are you here for the Moss Immune? Yes, I am. Thought so. Wait a second, okay? Sure, kid. There's something odd about this kid. Oh, big brother! Where are you, Masa? Masa? What is it, Mune? Wait, Masa Mune? That's the name of that sword. Not again! So, you want to get a name for yourself by grabbing the Masa Mune? What a buffoon. Humans are so silly. It's how you use the sword that's important, not who owns it. You can't even understand something as simple as that. That's why you're human. Well, you guys look pretty human to me, so I don't know what you're talking about. What should we do? The usual. Test them. You can entertain us for a while. Alright, here we go! Whoosh! I don't like this. Ah, it appears they're not human after all. Okay, and that's a boss fight song. So let's go ahead and fight these guys. So we have Masa and Mune. Um, first thing we're going to do is use Luka to see if physical damage does anything to this guy on the left. It does, which means now we have full range to attack this guy on the left. There you go, Chrono. That's what I like to see. Good job, buddy. And we're just going to keep uh, using all of our physical attacks on this guy. I'm also going to use Spin Cut with Chrono to see how much damage that does in comparison to a normal physical attack. Uh-oh. Hang in there, Luka. Let's see how much damage that does. I'm about to cringe. A hundred, probably. Oh, it just confuses them. Okay. Let's see how much... No, no, no. I didn't mean to hit that guy. Okay, so... So that does quite a bit of damage, but I don't think it's... Oh, yeah, it definitely is. We'll see how much MP it uses. And that's really how you can tell if you should use it or not. So, Luka is unfortunately... How much MP is this? Oh, it's four. Yeah, that's not worth it. It's worth it to just uh, use a normal... Normal... Normal physical attack. A normal physical attack, especially when it's a critical hit like that. So this guy's taking a ton of damage right now. We've gotten lucky with the critical hit, so he's got to be falling pretty soon, I would say. Maybe one more attack from Chrono? Although I keep saying maybe one... Oh, there's another critical. It's got to be that time, right? Apart, Masamune... I couldn't read that. It flashed you past, but I'm, I guarantee it said something like, Apart, they can't work together or something like that. Well, that was an easy boss fight, wasn't it? I'll take the Masamune now, thank you. Hey, they're pretty tough. Only Cyrus made it this far. What should we do? This time it's for real. W wait, that wasn't for real? Alright, this is it. Yeah, we mean business. It's like Dragon Ball Z when everybody Goku fights doesn't reveal their true power. Uh-oh. No, wait, I, I, guys, I just fought you as a boss fight, though. With Moss's bravery and... Mune's knowledge. Wonder Twin powers activate. Two become one. I don't like this. Okay, so this is the first time we're treated to the actual super boss fight music. And this is like my favorite, one of my favorite tracks in the whole game. I love this track. Um, and this guy is pretty tough. He's known as Masa and Mune together. And as you can see, obviously he's a big tougher version of what we just fought. Um, we're going to go ahead and hit this guy with physical attacks for now. Actually, it would be good to uh, hit him with a uh, fire sword or an ice sword to see how much damage that does because we do have access to those techs. And I think we have them a little bit more early than when we normally would have them because we've been fighting everything. So let's see how much damage that does tomorrow. 72, that's quite a lot. We're going to use this turn for a Aura Whirl to heal everybody. Um, there you are. Okay, and Luca, you can just go ahead and hit him with your stupid little gun that does, like, three damage. That's an understatement, though. You do a good job, Luca. There you go. Yeah, hit him with 51 damage. Good job. Okay, so there's one thing somebody said to us earlier that is going to help us for this fight, and I have to wait till he does it, but let's go ahead and use Ice Sword, 
and we'll use fire with Luca. Let's see how much Ice Sword does. 500 damage. That's nice. Okay, so we're going to stick with that until our MP runs out pretty much. Let's see how much a normal fire attack from Luca does. If it doesn't do that much, we'll use her as a healer. 171. Holy crap. That's a lot too. Okay, so as long as we don't get too low, we're just going to stick with that plan. Yes, indeed. This might be it. No. Okay. Never mind. We're definitely going to have to use an Aura Whirl right now and probably also... Come on, Marl. There we go. Where, where is it? Where is it? There it is. Okay, good. At least he didn't hit uh, Luca. All right, and let's also use a tonic on Luca, who is by far the lowest at 13 health. Okay, everyone back up to a good amount of health. Good. Let's use Fire Sword this time and see how much that does. The Ice Sword did 522. Let's see how much Fire Sword does. Probably going to be the same amount, I would think. Fire. No, not Fire Whirl. Fire Sword. There we go. And let's see, Marl, you can use Ice, unless this does too much damage to Chrono. How much is it going to do? 72? Yeah, we can wait. Uh, you're going to go ahead and use Ice, Marl. Okay, so Ice Sword did 522. This attack does less. Interesting. That might just be because of like a random number differential or something like that. I don't know. It should do the same amount. But I guess we'll stick with Ice Sword. Um... Yeah, so you can go ahead and hit Luca in the face with your little weird palm. Let's go ahead and use Ice Sword, and then we'll use Luca to heal uh, Chrono. There we go. So that does 519. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know why Ice Sword does a little bit more. Maybe he's just a little bit more susceptible. Interesting. Okay, now we need to heal again because Luca is almost dead once more. Storing, torna storing Tornado Energy. Okay, this is what I was talking about. So when he's doing this, we can actually use Slash... And that should stop him. Tornado energy has been neutralized, yeah. And Luca's dead now, which sucks. Uh, but we do have a revive, right? Yes, so let's revive Luca. And crap, he needs to stop doing so much damage to me. This is bad. Um, let's see. We can use a mid tonic on Chrono. There we go. That heals him pretty much completely. And we also need to use a mid tonic on Luca. Not combo. Mid tonic, Luca. Good. And then slash with Chrono to stop that tornado energy. And then ice on the boss fight. Or the boss to deal a little bit more damage. You guys can tell me how you want to see boss fights. You want to see the whole thing of me just rambling constantly, talking and commentating? Or do you guys want me to cut stuff? I don't really know yet how I should do that. Uh, but like this boss fight specifically, it's one of the best. And so I've been, you know, talking throughout the whole one. Um, but we should be done here pretty soon, I would have to think, because we're doing quite a lot of damage, especially with Chrono's counterattacks. It's like a little extra oomph. This Ice Sword is also doing 500 damage each time, and that's a lot at this point in the game. There we go. I knew it. It had to be close. But yeah, I don't know. I've been talking this whole time, and I don't know if you guys like that or if you guys want me to fast forward through bits, because boss fights are long, obviously. But you guys can leave me some feedback. 500 experience points, 10 tech points, 1500 G. That's a lot of stuff there, but obviously we just got some new tech, so we're not going to get anything just yet. Okay, third boss fight time. Just kidding. They beat us, big brother. That was fun. Will they fix us? Will they find us an owner? Yeah, it'll be alright. Hey, I'm not... Uh... I, I don't really want to start taking care of some kids just yet. Oh, just kidding. They're talking about the sword. Best joke, 2015. Grovana. Ha ha ha. I'm ruining the... The effect that's supposed to be going on right now, though. So I need to shut up. So this is the Masamune. But it looks like it's been broken for ages. You got the broken Moss Immune. Sweet. Something tells me we're not going to be able to use that. Just yet. Allow me. We'll ride the wind to the base of the mountain. Good luck to you. Okay, and we've entered the Pillar of Light. And if I had to guess based on what they just said, we're going to appear at the base of the mountain. <laughs> I love that little animation. like spits us out and we bounce on the ground. Okay, so... We have ourselves the Broken Moss Immune, and why don't we go ahead and visit Tata's house, considering that he ran from the thing and everybody thinks he's a hero. Uh, and there's Tata's house. Let's go inside. And there he is. How's it going, Tata? Uh, I'm sorry, everyone. Some frog guy dropped this in a cafe. I thought I'd sell it, but then everyone started calling me a hero. I couldn't bear to get rid of it. 
I just can't fake it any longer. I'm no hero. I'm so ashamed. Here, please take this. Tata's father. Scoundrel! I knew this was all a sham. Okay, now we can move. What does his father say? How could I have fallen for that? For my dear departed wife's sake, I vow to keep my feet on the ground. And Tata, listen to you! Who was going around telling everyone that you raised a hero, huh? And he's talking to his dad with that. Uh, let's just see what, he's gra what his grandpa says. If he does change his dialogue. Oh, my grandson! He secretly told me my next goal is to command the super legendary spaceship XRRX. Ha 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 ha. Don't know what that means, but okay. Um... We're going to end this episode here, ladies and gentlemen. In the next episode, we'll go ahead and see our frog friend once more and tell him that we have the broken moss immune and also the hero's badge. And I will see you guys there. Thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you guys tomorrow for some more Hotline Miami. And have a great day.